My name is Seth Ramsdell. I've been climbing since 1998. Um, I've owned my own company, my own tree service since uh, about 2001. Um, about, about two and a half years ago, I was up in a tree and I was frozen, tired, and exhausted watching my guys undo rope twists all day long. And I thought there had to be a better way. There had to be a better way than unraveling 250 feet of rope four times a day at $75 a crew hour, you know, or more. So a rope twist or a hockle or whatever you call them in whatever area of the state you live in, I don't care what you call them, they suck. They, they cost money, they slow down the team. So by wrapping your rope around a cylinder is what causes those hockles. So I came up with this called the jailbreak. You apply friction by running your rope through the rungs that way. It doesn't produce hockles at all. No rope twists. Um, another issue with some of the lowering devices on the market is where one wrap's not enough and two wraps is too many. Well, if you look at how small of an increment we're playing with here, you can dial these things in to, you know, almost quarter wrap increments. So once you get accustomed to using it, um, your, your groundsman's ability to fine tune and find a specific amount of friction that he needs for the task at hand is there. Um, you can come up with so many of your own combinations of friction. Uh, we're adding tiny, tiny increments here. So to take a full half wrap around one is, is gonna be your most friction. Skipping past, um, you know, and this would be called a run through or a half wrap on, a, on one of these where they just kind of run it through to redirect. It is really, really hard to compare um, the current lowering devices with this because they were completely different. So a full wrap that you would be accustomed to using would be something like that. Now, uh, if you were to try to do this, that is, that is, no, that is huge. That is, we're talking huge, whole trees. Um, so locking it off is just right there. Greenhorns or newer guys um, really seem to catch on to these a whole lot faster than the other devices. Uh, probably because they can see it, they can see, um, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an obvious in and an out. So when, when a greenhorn kind of can miss this cleat and not see it because of the way it's orientated towards him, um, that's kind of dangerous. Um, or when they change direction, when the bike comes in and they change the other way, next thing you know, you got a melted rope. Melted ropes, good question. So what happens here is almost 100% of your force of the rope is exerted in the first moment it touches the device. So of course it's gonna melt your ropes, heat them up. Well, with the jailbreak, your rope actually scoots past the first few rungs. And besides that, it makes a perfect heat sink. So the device itself never gets hot enough to do any rope damage. So the only spot that ever sees use every single time would be that bottom rung right there. So this is one that's been in the field for a year and you can see that there is no deformation. Uh, people wonder how the rope treats the device itself. Well, because you have so many options and you change it up so often, um, not one spot is ever seeing a lot of force, continual wear. You know, even the bottom that does see rope every single use has nothing, there's nothing there. It's, it's a solid aluminum piece. So an overwrap situation is a... Uh, you don't have to um, undo the pigtails, okay? Don't, that's, that would be an unsafe thing to do under load. So it's as simple as just walking up and feeding some slack through and it will come down. So um, preloading or taking the slack out or sweating the rope, whatever you want to call it, um, can be done this way, but it's much easier to do on this setup. 
it's stable, it's sturdy, it's not moving, and you can really take that slack out. This, if you wanna secure it properly down here, and then you can hang it with, a, with an accessory cord. Now, if you're in a position where you are in a bind and you need to control two different ends of the limb, like, or control the swing and the lowering, um, you take your tag line and your rigging line side by side, put them in, you can set your tag up with a smaller amount of friction and your rigging line with a little bit more. And now one guy can control two ends of the limb at the same time, one task. They're only 5.6 pounds. They have a 3,500 pound working load limit with a five to one safety rating. To use it wrong, one thing you can do to use it wrong, um, you have to come around the bottom rung each and every time you use it. Uh, you cannot come through the front and, and think that's gonna work. It, it doesn't, that's not the way it's designed. Another thing you can't do with it or shouldn't do with it is try to make a complete turn around a rung. And once again, that would produce rope twists or hockles. And the whole point of the product is to eliminate those. In, in regular use on the tree, they're almost indestructible. We have been trying for almost two years now to smash one in the field and nobody has been successful. Now that's not a dare, everybody. I, please do not go out and drop a tree on it and say, see, it broke. Don't run it over with your skid steer.